Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, and I'm standing in the church of the Gali Kantu, just southwest of the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. This is a very important church. This is the church that commemorates Peter denying the Lord three times. This is also the place, the church that's built over Caiaphas, the high priest's house. This is the place where Jesus was held in a dungeon before he went over to the Temple Mount area and faced Pilate. Right next to this amazing church are the Roman steps, original Roman steps that Jesus would have walked by to go to the Garden of Gethsemane. He knew that he would come back here, but he would come back here as a prisoner. You know, unlocking the mystery of the Bible is a matter of knowing the Old Testament and then seeing the New Testament as it reveals the Old. And in the Old Testament, the people of Israel came out of bondage thanks to the Passover and they went into freedom. Jesus introduced his body and his blood at the Last Supper. But then he went down to the Garden of Gethsemane. He began the new exodus where he would free us, not from Egypt, but from sin. And he did it by willingly giving himself up. I wonder what he thought. Did he want to turn back? Many times when we're hurt, we know that we're going to be betrayed. We want to pull back and we don't want to love. But Jesus kept walking, even though he knew he was betrayed and he knew that he was going to walk right in to being crucified. 